Get on your knees. Hey, I'm a cop. Just like the rest of us, cops are also entitled to have a little fun after a long day at work. I work for the county. You work for the county? I thought you were a security guard, man. Oh, no. But what happens if they go overboard and get caught? Okay, can I check your eyes real quick? Really? Well, I am a deputy in Los County. I'm a patrol officer. Well, check out these five cases of officers getting busted by their peers for behaving badly while off duty. For traffic officers, self-entitled drivers are a common challenge to deal with, but this case went further than usual. On May 17, 2022, St. Petersburg police in Florida flagged 26-year-old Shelby Coniglio for possible impairment. Instead of cooperating, she tried to use her position as a fellow officer. Watch as officers shut down her behavior, reminding her of her responsibilities while off duty. I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. And my driver's license is... Huh? I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. Do you have your license registration? No? You don't? Do you have your ID on you? Um... Uh -huh. Do you have uh, any on you? No. Okay. Well, I'm a deputy, but... Well, that's why I'm asking. Do you have any on you? On I there? live right there. Okay. I would normally, but... Do you have your... Some kind of ID or anything on you? My ID is not here, but I'm a Pinellas County deputy. Okay. Do you have some kind of ID on you? No. I was just driving... That way, I dropped my friend off, and then I went this way, because my I live right there. I get that, but I pulled you over because you were flying past everybody and you were cutting. No, I was just driving Okay, when the I was pulling behind way. you, at this point you were going like 56 and a 40. You were flying. No, I was not flying. Oh. I was just Do you have your going... registration with your name on it or anything? Well, this car is not mine, so... Okay. Do you have anything with your name on it? It seemed this off-duty deputy forgot the basic rule during a traffic stop, comply and cooperate. Instead, she stood defiant, invoking her position to assert authority over the officers. Is that your driver's license right there? It's my driver's license and my, um... Can I see your driver's license? Sure. Do you have your, uh, work ID? No, it's at home in my cruiser. Okay. Where do you live at? I live at 119. Okay. So not the address in your license? No. Okay. I live right there. Whose car is this? My father's. Oh. Give me a second. Where are we going? Hi. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I put the wrong one. How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Yeah. What's going on tonight? Um, I don't, I have no idea. I'm trying to get home. Oh, okay. Do you know why she pulled you over? Uh, she said because I'm driving too fast. Oh, okay. But I'm a Pinellas County deputy and I'm just trying to get to my house, which is right there. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long have you been with SO? Five years. Gotcha. Is that a problem? No, absolutely not. Just trying to... Yeah. But yeah. whatever she wants to do. I don't know what she's doing uh, right now, but uh, I'm just going to stand by with you until she figures out what she wants to do. These dedicated officers saw through her deceitful tactics, unfazed by her do-you-know-who-I-am approach. Regardless of her status, they maintained control of the situation, keeping her accountable. Do you want me to get out? No, no, you're fine. No, you're good. I'm good? Like, you don't have to step out right now. Well, there's like five people now. You said you were a deputy? Yes. Where at? Dallas County Sheriff's Office. Oh, you're with yeah. SO, nice. Yeah. How long you been with them? Five years. I mean, I could get out, I could get in. I mean, you could come in. No, no, you're, you're good right now. <laughs> Listen, I'm you're just good. trying to, I'm just, I don't know, whatever you guys want to do, whatever well, it you're is. Good. I'm just... I live at that light right there. Gotcha. So if you want to hang out, if you don't want to <laughs> hang out. Where are you coming from? Uh, Not even long. Um, you know Gandhi Boulevard? Mm -hmm. I picked up a, picked up someone, brought them over to their house, and then I was going back to my house. Gotcha. Because 
I am just living my life. I got you. And they actually live with Pinellas. And so I was like, oh, I'll bring you home. I got you. Boom, boom, okay. boom, boom. Easy. Got you. Espanol, but... Where from? Wait. Hmm? So you're Spanish? Yeah. You from say where? You say where. Mm-hmm. Honey, you know I speak... You speak Spanish? Mm-hmm. Ah, pero way. <laughs> pero way. Ah, okay. I'm Dominican. Dominican? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. No. <laughs> no. No. What's wrong with uh, that? Italiano, okay? Uh, and I only speak uh, some Spanish, gotcha. okay? For the most part, Italiano. Gotcha. But she pulled me over. I do what I want. Mm. I got you. But you're St. Pete, so it doesn't matter. Unlike other impaired drivers, Cornelio was unreserved and coy with the male officers. They stayed professional, engaging her calmly. If she thought charm would help, she was in for a surprise. Are you, um, like in special unit with the SO or just a... No, a patrol. Gotcha. Only patrol. Gotcha. So I, what did she knew? Who, her? No. No. No? Mm -mm. She's been on probably about the same amount of time as you. <laughs> Five years? Mm -hmm. She's been on five years and it's taking this long? She was just made in a phone call. To who? I'm here with you, I don't know. She's okay. coming now. Alrighty. Go and step out of the car for me a second. We're just gonna talk over there, okay? Can you come here for a Come over here. Just right out of the road. Can we step over here? Can, we, are you, can you walk over? Are you able to walk over here? Yeah, in the. Well, no, I just want to get on the sidewalk. Okay, all right. All right. I'm talking to you and getting some signs of impairment. Okay, can I check your eyes real quick? Really? You're gonna see my visit. All right. I want. I'm. I want to give you every chance to say that you're fine. Okay. She was either too pie-eyed to grasp her situation or believed her position as a deputy was a get-out-of-jail-free card. Despite her excuses, she couldn't avoid the dreaded field sobriety test. So can I check your eyes real quick? This is what we're going to do right now? I, I don't have a choice. You don't have a choice? No. And you pulled me over for going 10 miles over the speed limit? You were going more than 10 miles over the speed limit. And really? it's not just speed, it's also how you were driving. No. Look, 10 miles over the speed okay. limit. I'm not going to argue with you. I mean, unfortunately, we're past that point. <laughs> you understand my position? All right. I want to give you every opportunity for you to show me that you're okay to drive. And I really hope that that's the results that we get, okay? But at this point, I can't just look the other way. That's where you're at right now? Yeah. Can I check your eyes real quick? This is how you're doing it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't have a choice. It's yes, you do. For anybody else. No, yes, you do. I, I can't treat anybody any differently. Yes, you would. No. That, that, that. I, I wasn't in other people's lanes. Okay. I'm not going to argue about that. There's dash cam video and all of that, okay? But we're past that point right now. The point is you were stopped. You're showing signs of impairment. I want to. No, I'm not showing. Okay. All right, I want to give you every opportunity to show you know that that's not the I, case. I want to ask, uh -huh. what signs of impairment was I showing? You've got watery eyes, you have slow nope, speech. Nope, nope. I okay. want to know, Okay. pulling over, pulling over, what was the signs of impairment? Okay, I'm not going to. Because I do not have watery eyes because I have contact lenses in my eyes. Okay. I have contact yeah, lenses I'm, in. I'm not trying to argue with you, okay? I, if you're good to drive, perfect. But that's, I have to, I have to investigate that. Ignorance of the law excuses no one, yet she believed her position could override the charges. Her stubbornness was met by the officer's patience, firmly explaining each step until she grasped the gravity of her actions. No, you have to go over it again. I am showing what, exactly? You have watery eyes, you have slurred speech, you have a strong But I'm wearing odor. contact lenses? Okay. You have a strong odor of alcohol coming from your breath. But I'm wearing, I have. Okay. All right. As I said, I'm just conducting an investigation at this point. I want to give you every opportunity. You're saying that you're that you're fine. I want to give you every opportunity to show me that. There's no way. No way. In okay. Can I check your eyes real quick? 
your eyes real quick, just to make sure that you're okay. You're gonna check it? No. Are you? I want to give you some opportunity to participate in some field sobriety tests. Is that something you'd be willing to do? And if I wasn't willing to do that? Look, I want you to get. I want to give you every opportunity to show me that you're okay to drive. So you're saying that if I'm not willing to do what you're telling me to, I'm apparently. I'm saying I'm getting signs of impairment. Where? Okay. Where? I, I explained it to you already, okay? No, say it again. I've explained it to you multiple times. You you said that, but it's not impairment. Okay. Well, if you if you are telling me you're not impaired, that great. I want you to give me. I want to give okay, you every sh opportunity. Show me that I'm impaired. Okay. Can I check your eyes real quick? And then what after that? If you're gonna check my eyes, what after that? It depends what I see in your eyes. Okay. So it depends on what you see in my eyes. Mm -hmm. But after that, it doesn't mean anything. Well, it's just one step at a time. Right now, I just want to check your eyes. No, okay. I don't. I don't want to see in my eyes. I want to see after that. Okay. After it's it's it it's a building process. Okay. It's not a one test determines everything. Despite the results, officers gave her a chance to redeem herself with just a citation and warning. However, her continued ill-tempered behavior raised red flags. Ignoring the situation, she asserted her rights as an off-duty officer. All right. Um, are you able to spell your first and last name for me? How tall are you? Five. Two? Okay. How much do you weigh? 150 pounds? What color are your eyes? Brown. Um, you said you work for HCSO? PCSO. Oh, Pinellas County. Yes. I thought you told me Hillsborough County earlier. Really. No, I did not. I never said that. Okay. I said PCSO. Okay. Are you, um, street deputy or detention? No, I am a deputy, Pinellas County. I'm a patrol officer. Okay. okay. All right. Um, I got some medical questions uh -huh. for you. There's yes or no questions. Are you currently sick or injured? No. Do you have any physical defects? No. Um, are you diabetic? No. Are you epileptic? No. Are you seeing a doctor or dentist outside of normal care? I do. Okay. Um, are you taking any medications? I do. How would you describe your overall health? Good, fair, or poor? I think it's okay. Cornelio's impatience escalated as she scolded the officers for wasting her time with their tests. Noticing she responded better to male officers, one tried a light exchange to ease the tension. At this time, I want to give you the opportunity to participate in two more field sobriety tests. Is that something you'd be willing to do? You think that I'm impaired right now? As I said, I'm After I'm eyes. Yeah. So in, in the eye... You're showing signs of impairment. I want to give you every opportunity to show me that you're okay. Yeah. Okay. So, again, there's two additional tests, the walk and turn sure. and the one leg stand. Is that something I'll you do mean? all of the do? tests. Okay. Perfect. Um, hang out with him. I'll be right back. Quick. What, um, what's it called? What, uh... I'm a deputy. Yeah, yeah, I know. What's the, uh, what's your, like, like, do you work nights? Do you work days? I work nights. I don't know how, how you guys do. You guys do, what, like, left and right? 12 hours. I know you do 12 hours, but I'm saying there's there's not a left side and right side depending on the schedule. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Um, there's like A and B. Okay, yeah. I'm on B. Gotcha. So this is your light week? Yeah. For, uh, for this, if it makes it easier, you can take your shoes off. I feel like the road would probably be better for this. Um. Is she new? Been here longer than I have. Then why is she doing this? Well, I live right there. She doesn't care. She wants to get people over. I'm pretty sure that's not what she wants okay. to do. So, in the sense of being a deputy, mm -hmm. with her doing this, what are what are your thoughts? What do you mean? In in the fact of me facing this or not, it doesn't matter, right? No, I mean that's that's the point of this, right? If you're you don't show signs of impairment while you do it. It's better for you. That's why we give you that option. I'm still going to be perfect for this. There you go. Though she tried to comply, officers quickly noticed her struggles with basic instructions during the initial test phase. Her claims of sobriety were clearly false, as her actions told a different story. We're going to step over here. And you want to come down to this end. 
Now, totally up to you, but I would suggest taking your shoes off. Um, you're probably going to be a lot more comfortable, but it's your decision. Need help? Careful. All right. So, you come up, step up to this line. You ready? All right. What I'm going to do is put your left foot on the line, other left. And then you can put your right foot front like this, standing heel to toe, arms down at your sides. Yep. Just stay in that position. Don't move until I tell you to begin. Now, when I tell you to begin, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line, okay? It's going to look like this. One, two, three, and so forth. End of the ninth step, you're going to keep your front foot planted. You're going to step off of your back foot. You're going to turn around by making a series of small steps. It's going to look like this. Then you're going to take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. One, two, three, and so forth. Several things I want you to keep in mind during this test. When you look down at your feet, keep your arms down at your sides, count your steps out loud. Once you've started this test, I don't want you to stop until you've finished. Do you have any questions? So you want me to do nine heel toe steps mm -hmm. down the line, yep. and then on the ninth, you want me to do small steps, counting out. demonstrate you keep your front foot planted you're going to step off of your back foot you're just going to turn around like this you don't need to count your steps when you're turning around you count your steps down your nine steps down and your nine steps back in the next test phase, she struggled with instructions and argued with officers, seemingly unaware that her actions could impact the results. This was her last chance to avoid jail and protect her career. Okay. Do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. You may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and then I'm going to small heel mm -hmm. to toe steps. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, ten four, ten six. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. So for this next test, you can disregard the line. We're not going to use it. So what I'm going to have you do is you're going to stand with your feet together, arms down at your sides. Stay in that position. Don't move till I tell you to begin. Now when I tell you to begin, you're going to raise one foot, whichever foot you want, approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your legs straight. You're going to count out loud by thousands. Yep. It's going to look like this. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, and so forth until I tell you to stop. Several things I want you to keep in mind during this test. Keep your arms down your sides, look down at your feet, count out loud, don't hop or sway for balance. Got it. Now, if you put your foot down, which I don't want you to do, but if you do, I want you to pick that same foot up and continue counting where you left off. So if you're at 1,003 and you put your foot down, you pick it back up, 1,004, 1,005, and so forth. Got it. Do you have any questions? I just want me to pick my foot up, count out loud, look down at your feet. And then when you stop, and I'll tell you when to stop. stop. Mm -hmm. You understand the instructions? I understand. All right. I'll you let you know when you which, begin. Which leg do you want me to pick up? Whichever foot you want. Whichever one you're more comfortable with. Are you going to pick up? Huh? Right, left? Whichever one you want. I'll we'll pick up forever. Okay, that's fine. I'll let you know when you begin, okay? Okay, whenever you want. All right. A soda can, right? Yep. You may begin. Sensing her impending fate, Cornelio's demeanor shifted from insubordinate to obedient, surprising the officers as she cooperated and answered their questions. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1000, your hands next to you. Oh, um, now I forgot which one. And now one. you may stop. Oh. That'll conclude our field sobriety test. Sorry. All right. I miscounted when you said something. Okay. Huh? The bugs. You have to get in the... If you're in the grass, you're going to get the bugs. All right. Um, I want to ask you some questions about um, tonight. Um, I have to read you your rights first, okay? Just because they're specific questions. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned. 
If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you. You can decide any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I read them to you? Yes. Having them in mind, do you want to talk to me now? Sure. Okay. So where are you coming from tonight? I am coming from downtown St. Pete. Okay. What time do you go downtown? I went downtown at about 7 p.m. Okay. Um, do you come from your place? Yeah, I live at... Which is uh -huh. And I live at and bugs are eating me. Okay. Noticing her cooperative attitude, officers pressed on, hoping for an admission. She tried to hold her story, but the sobriety test results revealed the truth. Um can I put my shoes on? Yeah. So when you're downtown, what, where'd you go down to downtown? Uh multiple places. Okay. Do you A, remember? A um place where you can buy like light. Like, like pieces for your apartment. Okay. You know, okay. you know what I'm talking about? Do you remember what it's called? I don't remember. Okay. But you can buy a couple pieces. Okay. Where else did you go? Mm. Do you remember a couple pieces of what you're saying? That they... Like, like, like pictures. Okay. For apartment complexes. Okay. But it's like, like lamps? Yeah, lamps. Okay. Lamps. Um... There were a lot of dogs there. Remember where else you went? No, we were just trying to piece furniture together. Okay. Um, what time is it right now without looking, if you have to guess? Uh, 12 o'clock. Um, how much do you have to drink while you were down there? I didn't have any, any drink. Okay. Here's the thing. We both know you've been drinking. Okay. By telling us complete lies, like, I, I know that you're not being honest. Okay. So, I know you had something. Do you remember where you had drinks? How much did you have? Mm -mm. Okay, so why do you smell like alcohol? I do not smell like alcohol. I smell like pigment. That's not pigment, that's very strong alcohol. Yeah, I mean, you're a deputy, you know why, HGN, okay? That's caused by alcohol. So, how much did you have to drink? Her self-entitlement and deceit ultimately led to her detention. While being processed, she seemed unfazed, offering only a few choice words, perhaps now realizing the gravity of her situation. Nothing? You don't want to be honest with me? Yep. Yep. Nothing on you? No. No pockets in here? Nothing up in your bra? Just put your feet for me real quick. Do you want to huh? keep those rings on? Um, or, do you want you those want in the car or do you want... It's Is there anything you want from the car? A cell phone or anything? Sure. You, what? Like just your cell phone? Do you have anything else you want? Um, mm -hmm. my wallet. Where is that? It should be in the passenger seat. Okay. Just that? Just your wallet in your home? As a courtesy to a fellow officer, they ensured her basic needs were met, even contacting her employer. Though emotionally distressed, she accepted her fate as they transported her to the station. There you go. And then Stephanie is the one that is Stephanie Coniglio. Oh, gotcha. Right there. She probably won't answer. I mean, I'll try to give her a call, though. I did not even have my... Shelby Coniglio, a four-year patrol deputy, was taken into custody at the Pinellas County Jail. Her breath samples exceeded the legal limit, leading to charges of operating a vehicle while inebriated and careless driving. Following the incident, the Sheriff's Office terminated her employment. The Pinellas County Sheriff's Office released a statement confirming Coniglio's termination from the Patrol Operations Bureau, stating, Coniglio's employment was immediately terminated following the arrest, which is consistent with our policy. 
Coniglio first pleaded not guilty on May 23, 2022, but later, on March 30, 2023, she pleaded guilty to careless driving and no contest to a reduced charge. She was sentenced to probation, an intervention program, community service, and fined $166 was the sheriff's decision to dismiss deputy coniglio justified or was it too harsh share your thoughts in the comments below encountering inebriated drivers is all too common for patrol officers but what if the driver was a fellow officer this was the case in florida for 29 year old orange county deputy john guzman caught in a compromising situation by saint cloud police on october 15 2022 See how his defiance only worsened matters. Sir, are you okay? Hello? Hello, sir? We might have a signal one over here. Mm -hmm. Sir, is your foot on the brake there? Hey, sir. Yeah. Are you okay? Two door brake closed with John Susan at a 24977 of the drive with Bob. Excuse me, sir. Mm. Are you okay? Mm. Let's turn the vehicle off, okay? Mm. Let's turn the vehicle off, sir. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, I'm trying to turn the freaking car off. Can you just hold him back so I can... The off-duty deputy appeared glassy-eyed as officers attempted to assess his condition. His disoriented state and garbled responses only added to the challenge. All right, do me a favor, step up. All right, yeah, put the vehicle in park, step by the vehicle. Vehicle. He was like, oh, careful. Oh, All right. Have, have, a, have a seat over there. Step over here, sir. I'm going to take a seat. Have a seat. What's going on, sir? Are you okay? No, no, I'm not okay. You're not okay? No. When I saw you, you were outside of the vehicle, vehicle, in the car. Yeah. Car still in drive. Right. What's going on tonight? You had loads of drink? Huh? Have you had something to drink tonight? No, I'm just waiting. I'm just trying to get home. You're trying to go home? Yeah. Okay. Do you have your license on you? Huh? Is your license in the vehicle? No, it's in my, my, my wallet. Okay. Okay. He said it's in his wallet. He's getting it. Where are you coming from? Huh? Where are you coming from? What's your name? John. John what? Guzman. John Guzman. Where are you coming from tonight? Friend's house. A friend's house? Yeah. Okay. I live right down the street. Okay. Where's your Where's your driver's license, sir? In the car. Excuse me. Where in the car? In the glove compartment. It's in the car. I can't. I, I don't know where it is. It's, it's fine. Car. Just keep your hands out your pockets for me, okay? Later, he seemed to have sobered up, and they took this opportunity to press him for information, even if they already knew who he was. It was the easiest way to verify their earlier suspicions. Where are you coming from? I was at a friend's house. You were at a friend's house doing what? Yeah. Huh? What were you doing? I was hanging out with a friend. You were hanging out with a friend. Yeah. Okay, you realize when I saw you, you were passed out, head out of the window, throw up next to you on the ground. Uh, I passed out. You passed out. Yeah. While driving? Yeah. Pass your 10 12 if you want it. Before, yeah. Get your hands out of your pockets, please. Thank you. Just go ahead and take a seat for now. I don't even know. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> All right. Bravo, are you coming? Okay, hang tight just a second, okay? It was an awkward situation as Deputy Guzman was processed for being tipsy with the embarrassment heightened by a field sobriety test. His three-year career in law enforcement now stood at risk due to his poor choices. You work for the Sheriff's Office? Bravo 5 to Bravo 20. Can you be 51 over here, please? How long you worked over there for? Three years. Three years?
Hey, do me a favor, say 10 12. Yep. Say 10 12 for me. Huh? The deafening silence and awkward wait finally ended as he faced the most embarrassing part of the process, the pat down and Miranda reading. Treated like any other suspect, Guzman couldn't escape the shame, but his own reckless actions are what led him here. Hmm? You don't happen to have any on the do you? No, no. We're just going to pass it down real quick. Okay? I'll give it down for you. Your duty is not on you or in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. It seemed he wanted to avoid further embarrassment by refusing the field sobriety test. Since he was aware of the legal and administrative consequences, the officers respected his decision and proceeded accordingly. Look, based on my training and experience, we're passed out behind the wheel and physical controlled by people. We're all up outside of the car. There's a profound odor of alcohol coming from your, from your body. Okay? And your water, guys. What's up with that? I'm going to afford you at this time to uh, complete a series of field sobriety exercises. Is that something you wish to do? No. Okay. Do me a favor, go ahead and stand up for me. Turn around. Turn around, turn around. Test of your breath. Your privilege to operate a motor vehicle will be suspended for a period of one year for the first refusal and a period of 18 months if it is previously suspended for refusal to submit to a test of your breath. Furthermore, if you refuse to submit to this chemical test of your breath and your driving privilege has yes. been previously suspended for a prior. Sub Sir, are you paying attention? Yeah. Okay. Yes. For a prior sub uh, refusal to submit to a lawful test of your breath or you commit a misdemeanor in addition to any other penalties. Refusal to submit to any chemical test of your breath upon the request of a law enforcement officer shall be ad admissible into court in any criminal proceeding. Okay? In the end, Deputy Guzman's silence and refusal to take the test sealed his fate. For the officers, it was just another day at work, but the experience stands as a harsh reminder of the standards expected from law enforcement, even when off duty. Yeah. Are you gonna submit to a test? No. no? Okay. Go on, take a seat, people. Hey, Guzman. I just need to know for our own sake, do uh, you have any anything in the car, a badge or anything we need to make sure we secure for you? No? Okay. Okay, I will. I got you. Okay. I'll Orange County Deputy John Guzman, 29, was taken into custody by Osceola County Corrections and charged with operating a vehicle while inebriated. The Orange County Sheriff's Office relieved him of his duties, reassigning him to an administrative role while the investigation remains ongoing. Was the deputy too embarrassed to take the test, or was it more about legal reasons? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Regardless of who the suspect is, an officer must uphold the law. In Key Largo, Florida, on June 12, 2022, a Monroe County deputy did just that, pulling over 26-year-old Donovan Rojas, an off-duty officer violating traffic laws. Despite Rojas's resistance, the deputy held him accountable. This is how their interaction unfolded.
The deputies' relentless pursuit paid off as they finally cornered the vehicle. Though the driver appeared harmless, they exercised caution to prevent further escalation to the already tense situation. Shut the f up. Get right over here. I don't give a f who you are. Get on your knees. Hey, I'm a cop. Why are you, why are you acting like that? I'm a cop. Then you'll listen to me when I tell you to get on your f knees. Uh, man, I'm a cop, bro. Rojas attempted to identify himself as a fellow officer to defuse the situation, but his belligerent attitude, glassy eyes, and strong odor only heightened their suspicions of impairment. You used to work for Miami Dade. Hey, I like that, man. Stand there. Same one, never. One in custom. Be quiet. Don't say another word. You hear me? Later, a shocking discovery complicated matters for the off-duty Miami Dade officer. The deputies and their sergeant now had to verify the suspect's identity while considering their next steps. Everything's cool, sir. Of course, of course. And we gotta check this car first. There's, there's radios and all kinds. Of What's up, man? What's going on? Man? I haven't seen you in a bit. Yeah, once in a while, I get stuck on that. Release the air. Why are those radios? Oh, he's got the Holy. Block, right? He's for real. Jesus. What, Sarge? I can't see you. Well, that wasn't on when he passed me. No, he's drunk. Did you turn that? Did you turn that on or it was on? No, it was on right there. On, but the visor's up. Son of a. Let's find out who's, uh, coach. Let's find out who his supervisor was. And, uh, we're going to do what we got to do. What? Though his law enforcement ties were confirmed, this didn't exempt him from the arrest process. After hearing his Miranda rights, he refused the field sobriety test and chose to remain silent, prompting deputies to proceed with their investigation. Casey, do you have a... Let's do this by the books. Do you happen to have a Miranda card? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yep. Boss, what's your first name? Don. Don? Donovan. Donovan. That's your first name? Yes, sir. Okay. Don't say anything just yet. You understand me? You know how this goes. Okay, I don't want to. Be quiet. Before I ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. Yes. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. You have a right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed for you before any questioning it, if you wish. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? I get it, brother. With these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? No, sir. Okay. I feel you're impaired. Me? Yeah. Really? No. Okay. Are you willing to perform field sobriety exercise to dispel my suspicion that you're impaired to drive? No, sir. No. Okay. Is this an agency vehicle? Yes, sir. This is his agency car. This is his agency car. Who's the tech back to? Uh, I just asked him how to run the tag. I just got here. Um, uh, he and so he doesn't want to talk. He refuses to feel sobriety exercises. So, uh, oh, absolutely, he's f***ed up. Yeah. Thank you. It is what it is. I, I will notify. Faced with another dilemma, the deputies discussed their options, reflecting on his reckless driving and disregard for traffic laws. They couldn't hide their disappointment in their fellow officer's belligerence. What are we, we going to do? Do you want a rotation, or what are we going to do with the car? We're going to do rotation, okay. but everything that's agency-related, yeah. we need to take and store, because I don't want to be responsible for in cars, firearms. Yep. Uh, yeah, if we can ask, if we can do them solid and let them know that they got all this 
here. If they have somebody local that can come and pick it up, I mean, I don't mind doing the property receipt. That's not the reason. I'm just saying. Scott, I don't even know what's going on It was you and you was Andy? I clocked them at 107. I got him up to 111. And I know he saw my lights. Oh, yeah. As soon as he passed me. Okay. He never slowed down, so. I was directly behind him and he still kept going. He was and weaving in, in and out of traffic. And he's not on duty, so he shouldn't be running code. Well, he didn't have, th those lights were not on. lights were not on, no. No, those lights weren't on when he, he went, he passed me. No, and if they were on now, I couldn't see them because they weren't facing yeah, this, me anyway. This one's pointing, it like fell down anyways. Yeah, so. that, yeah you, can, you can barely see here. And yeah. The visor lights were not on when he passed me, so I don't know if he... No, that, that, no, that wasn't. It's like falling down. All right, okay. all right. Get my, uh, Tell me what you, you want me to take all this stuff or what do you want to do with it? Now figure out. Okay, let me grab some stuff to, to put it all in. Original speed was 107. He, he got so far away from me after I turned on my lights that I couldn't get a, a speed. Once I got close enough, when he was still fleeing, it was 111. That was the, the top speed that I was able to report. As the others wrapped up their investigation, a deputy reasoned with Rojas, offering options to potentially reduce his charges and reminding him that, as an officer, he was expected to set an exemplary standard. And if you want to just toss whatever you whatever you get, here's a box you can toss all his stuff okay. that we need to take. I'm going to take him to the Roth. If, if you just want to drop it off or... Well, well I can help you. Then. Yeah. So I'll, I'll leave this here so you have somewhere to put everything. Donovan, yes, sir. I'm trying to get all your stuff to somebody safe. Uh, can we contact your immediate supervisor? Uh, yeah, I do. Can we contact your immediate supervisor? Yes, sir. Are you okay. Gonna help me out? Well, we don't want to leave all your here, man. We don't want to put it into property. We want to see if we can get it to a supervisor. Okay. Preferably your supervisor to keep it under wraps. So, do you happen to have his name and phone number? Yeah. You already invoked your right to remain silent, so I'm not going to ask you any questions, bro. But man, bro, you, you, this is not the highlight of my day. I know. Uh, bro. I'm sorry, brother, but. Yep. Don't say anything else. Man, you know how many people are involved in this? I get you, bro, but like, bro, we, we're supposed to take care of our own, bro. Yeah, we are. Yeah, like, I've been doing it for six and a half years, bro. And and if I came to your county and I put you in this position? Yeah, I'll take you home, like. You take me home? Of course. You take me home after your sergeant shows up on scene? Hell and everybody's yeah. got cameras? This is my day, baby. We take care of you. Like, yeah? we, this, is, this is what we're supposed to do. I know that's what we're supposed to do, but... Unfortunately, I can't do that. I will. I guess. I can do it. You're going to tell me I go to Miami Dade and I flee from the cops? I'm going to walk home? Brother, I, didn't, I didn't even notice you were fleeing. Nah, man. Come on. Don't give me that. We're supposed to be brothers, right? I won't never flee for you. That's why I pulled over. Trust me. Yeah. It's simply on, right? Until the end, the deputy advised Rojas to take the test for his own benefit. Rojas refused, opting instead to contact his Miami-Dade squad leader. Respecting his choice, the deputy handed him over to the detention facility staff. Come on, boss. Watch out, man. I got a family. You okay? Yeah, bro. You know I can't turn off my camera. Come on. Nobody that sat in this chair has ever thought they did anything wrong. Okay, but today, but today, today, I'm not going to listen to any about how I did this. Okay? All right. Just have a seat, boss. What's up, my man? He's in the front because he's a cop. Okay, so. All right, you got to get off the phone now, boss, okay? They're going to let you make some more phone calls in just a little bit. All right, bro. How we going? They're telling me to get off the phone now. These two citations, I need you to sign them. It's not an admission of guilt, it just says you received them, all right? Uh, all right, give them your, the gentleman your phone. Uh, how you doing? All right, I don't support you. Do you have any contact in the Yes. You have another condition requiring medication, high blood pressure, diabetes. All right, you step it up.
Three cop cars behind you. They literally lit you up right next to you. They lit you up next to you. And you still kept going at 111. I pulled next over. to you. Next to you. And I pulled over, right? No, bro. No, you didn't pull over. You went for another three miles. And what's three miles? Literally, like right there, right? I literally saw that next turn. 26 year old Donovan Rojas was taken into custody at the Monroe County Jail facing felony charges for eluding an officer, a misdemeanor for DUI, and traffic citations for speeding. The Miami-Dade Police Department subsequently suspended him without pay. In March of 2024, Rojas's attorney, Larry T. McMillan, stated, We are relieved the jury found Mr. Rojas not guilty of fleeing and DUI, convicting him only of reckless driving, which fits the facts. Enjoying this Bad Cops Get Busted video? then hit that like button to show your support. Thanks. Now let's check out our next misbehaving cop getting caught. The police often remind the public to stay away from the wheel after a couple of drinks. But what happens when an officer breaks that rule? On July 2nd, 2023, Officer Orlando Gonzalez of the Secaucus Police Department in New Jersey faced that exact situation. A fellow officer, tipsy and defiant. Watch as Officer Gonzalez holds a fellow off-duty cop accountable for his actions. Hey, how you doing? Secaucus Police, put your car in park. Put your car in park. Hey, yo. Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put the gear in park. Put the gear in park. Perfect. How you feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay. See August Police, okay. Officer Gonzalez has been recording my body cam, okay? Hello. What happened? We're home, man. That's it. Uh-huh. You know where you are? Yeah, Hogan. Where are you? By Hogan. You where? By Hogan. By Hogan? By Hogan. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? Yeah, Hogan. You know, you're not in Hoboken. We're home. Where's home? Like two months away. I live in uh Seacaucus. You live in Seacaucus? Yes, where in Seacaucus do you live? Like a block away. Block away? Yes, Can you roll out window a little bit more? Okay, you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? I'm going home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though? You understand why I'm here talking to hey, you? Of course, brother. What happened? Uh, motor vehicle stop. Huh? Motor vehicle stop. It's not a motor vehicle stop. You weren't driving. You got it, brother. I'm going straight home. You're going straight home? Where are you coming from? Uh, Union City. You coming from Union City? Yes, sir. What are you doing? Uh, going straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. The driver, Mauricio Garces, showed clear signs of inebriation. He was confused, glassy-eyed, and incoherent. When questioned, he responded with blank stares and repetitive answers. But Officer Gonzalez stayed professional and carried out his duties. Do you understand why why I'm talking to you though right now? Do you understand yes, what sir. happened? What happened right now? I'm straight light. I said I was um, going home. Huh? Straight home. That's it. You know, straight home. That's yes, it. Sir, yeah, but but you're not answering my question. Uh, you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand what you were doing? Yes, I was stop. I didn't go home straight home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. So, sir, I must No, you didn't say any of that, okay? I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you're, you're repeating yourself. All right. Huh? I, I, two blocks away, that's it. Two blocks away or anything? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. You, you, your speech is a little slurred. Okay. Did you drink anything? I had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Yes, sir. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car for me. Your car, leave your car in park. All right. Just step out of the car. We're going to go over right here in the sidewalk. Come here in the sidewalk. How much did you have to drink tonight? 39. I'll be out a couple. A couple? What's a couple? Yeah, About how much? Two. Okay. Why are you looking away from me? I'm talking to you. All right. Look, yes, look, look towards me. Okay. What's a couple? Uh, two. A two? Yeah. Okay. All right. Surprisingly, Gas has mentioned a past offense for the same issue, raising even more red flags. The officers decided a field sobriety test was needed to determine the next steps. All right, just got to get the uh, front. What's a couple of drinks? Like two. About two? Yeah. All right. 
Um, you think he has any pocket for me? I'm sorry. I'm asking you for anything at the time, okay? No. What are you doing? Have you? Sorry, I guess um, you've done this already in the past? You have? Yeah, I do work for, for Union City PD. What's that? I do work for Union City PD. I, I never asked you that. I know. Why would you bring it up? I'm not telling you. Okay. But what, has, what does that have to do with uh, you being checked like this before? Nothing. I guess you want me to take some type of preference or something that you mentioned that? No. Like I said, you're being recorded right now also, okay? I don't know whether I don't. Okay? I mean, All right, do me a favor. Take your head off. You're doing a job. Take your head off. Okay? Okay. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay? You have any medical conditions? You wear glasses? No. Contacts? You have a glass eye? No. No? Okay. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to ask you to do, okay, look, look at me. Look at my pen, okay? All right? And you just follow my pen without moving your head, all right? Just your eyes, okay? Don't move your head. Look straight and just move your eyes. Again, look straight. Okay? Just move your eyes. Saying he had a few drinks only increased their suspicions, so they proceeded with the second phase of testing, which returned unfavorable results. You had a couple of drinks, huh? About how many? Mm. That you could remember? Two or three. Two or three? Two or three? Okay. Okay, put your head back on. Okay. Do you have any uh, physical ailments with your legs or anything? Do you have any problems? Wooden leg, nothing? All good? Okay. I'm going to ask you to perform a series of tests, okay? All right? First one's going to be, okay, the nine steps to walk and turn, okay? All right? I want to demonstrate for you, okay? I'm going to keep your hand to the side like this, okay? I'm going to go like this, heel to toe, all right? Okay? I'm going to put your left foot in front of your right, right? Okay, one, two, Three, four, all the way to nine, okay? When you get to your nine steps, you're gonna take a series of small steps like this, turn back around, same thing, right foot in front of the left, okay? One, two, three, four, okay? They have to touch, heel to toe, okay? You're gonna take nine steps forward and nine steps back, mm -hmm. okay? Whenever you're ready, keep your hands to the side. Go ahead, you may begin. As expected, Garces struggled to follow basic instructions and maintain balance during the final sobriety test. With this outcome, Officer Gonzalez detained him for suspected impairment. Accepting his fate, Garces complied. Okay, come over here. Come over here. All right, what I'm going to ask you to do, okay? The one leg stand, okay? Now stand like this. Hands to your side like this, exactly like you did with the, with the nine steps, okay? You're going to hold your foot up, okay? All right, like this. You're gonna say you're gonna count one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, okay? Six inches up, which equals about about the size of a dollar bill, okay? The length of a dollar bill, okay? Six inches off the ground like this, okay? One one thousand, two one thousand, all the way to thirty. I'll tell you when to begin, okay? Either either leg is fine. Towards me, towards me, towards me, towards me. All right, you may begin. Count out loud. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. 5,000, Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, just turn around for me and then just uh, put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Do that for me? Is that right? Okay, that's fine. All right. Put your hands together like this. Put your hands together. Okay, you're being arrested right now for suspicion of driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? Officer Mauricio Garces of the Union City Police Department was taken into custody by the Hudson County Department of Corrections and charged with driving while inebriated. Police records show he was later released into another adult's custody. Chief Anthony Facchini of the Union City Police Department confirmed that Garces remains employed and is under internal investigation. Despite calls for action due to prior incidents, Union City PD considers him a valuable asset. Do you think Officer Garces tops the list of cops behaving badly, or is there another that stands out? 
Law enforcers, whether on or off duty, are held to the highest standards of behavior. However, on January 24, 2024, Albuquerque police in New Mexico had to address the troubling actions of a fellow officer, reminding him of the standards expected even while off duty. Good. Thank you. Hi, sir. What's wrong over here? Uh, sir, that's your key. Uh, we're leaving the sugar key and uh, we're just out there opening your candy, can I leave? And this guy, uh, you know, he's on a PA system and just some lights on and says, get out of here. Get get, uh, get get out of here. Treat your business house, sir. And we know where he's talking about. So so then uh, I, I said, excuse me. I started walking like this and he pulls his gun out on me. He says, get the f back. Get the f back. I said, I said, why? He goes, this is the sheriff's office. I said, whatever, dude. So he started walking and he kept playing a gun like this to us. He said, well, I'm going to take your soul. I'm going to take your soul from you right now. Keep tying in this guy. Since the suspect was identified as off-duty Deputy Barreco of the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office, officers handled the situation cautiously, observing his reaction to the complaints while avoiding alarm. 10 for one side, six for one side, six for one Hello, sir. My name is Officer Weatherman, Are you security here? No, I'm just telling you. You're just telling you? So the reason why I'm talking to you is uh, we got a call for service about... A silver Dodge, and a and a gentleman pointing it at somebody else, saying he's going to take a soul and doing all that. Do you mind just stepping out for me real quick so I can complete my investigation? Because this is the truck that they named. Probably and then you're sitting inside of it. I, I understand that. You saw me walk around the corner. I'm just trying to do my investigation, okay? Okay, just go ahead and step on out for me. Do you have a gun or anything? No? Okay. So right now, we have no federal charges. We have a lot of charges. Okay, tough one. Um, did you have an ID with you? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yep. I really just got here now. So you, you don't have a gun or anything? I saw the vest in there. Yeah, I got a vest. But no You're not pointing it at anybody or anything like that? Do they have a description of the male subject? Or just a vehicle? Yeah, just like, can work on that real quick? Is everything all right? Uh, yeah, uh, like I, I said... just got here. No, I know. So like I said, <laughs> we got a call. Someone's sure. pointing. This is the yeah. vehicle they gave. No, That's I why I'm talking that. to you. Yeah, um, I literally just got here. I'm trying to figure out a description yeah. for the male that did this. No, I get a bill. Um, so once they give me that, we'll continue okay. going. Okay. If they give me the description that matches you, what we'll do is we'll do a field ID okay. of the person that's okay. what that's called is whoever our caller is. We'll come sure. do all that stuff and right. either say yeah. that's him or that's not him. Okay. Barreco's composed behavior raised red flags as officers recognized he was fully aware of their questioning. While he skillfully avoided incriminating himself, the officers used light exchanges to encourage him to be more forthcoming. Do you have a phone number? So there's that for you. Yeah. Just do me a favor, just hang out. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're just waiting for some of that information. <laughs> you, you're not working security or anything? No. What do you do for work? I work for the county. You work for the county? Yeah. What do you do for the county? I'm with the SO. Oh, you are? Yeah. So you're off duty? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, Brett, where are you at? So I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm on the west end of the Circle K. You didn't have any altercations with anybody? No arguments or anything? Yeah. You're not UC or anything like that? You don't got a PA in here or anything like that? Is this your POV? This isn't your POV? Or this is? No, this is my county car. This uh, is your county car? Yeah. Okay. Super awkward. Yeah, like yeah, we're just so waiting for the point. description of the guy or whatever they're sure, doing over yeah. there. So, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, this is. I know. So I'm not. I thought you were a security guard, man. Oh no, no. APD. <laughs> How long have you been with us? Up. Almost 15 years. You? <laughs> Five. I think this is the primary officer. Yeah. What's the best deal with AP? Yep. This is Michael. Michael? Yes, sir. Okay, Michael. Right now, you're going to be detained until further notice. Just pending investigation, okay? Okay. Um, so we do have to place you in handcuffs for now. Okay? Uh, All cool. right. Uh, just until just we can start some more investigation yep. of what's going on, okay? Don't really understand Like I said, I told you what we got called here for. Yeah. And Let me uh, sit you down over here in my car. Okay. <laughs> I haven't patted him down or nothing. Have a seat for me right yeah. here, man. I 
Uh, just stand by for me, okay, man? Thanks for your picture. Yeah, what are you So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go talk to the person side. Yeah. So anything, get more information, yeah. and I'll come and talk to you. They had to play their cards carefully, as the evidence suggested Bareko was either a deputy or an impersonator, relying on their deductive skills to avoid errors and legal consequences later on. So he said he had just gotten 5-6, he was just hanging out. There's a, like a vest, like a duty vest in there. He's been with BCSO for 15 years. And he, said, he keeps saying that's his county vehicle, but I don't know if that means like work or like POV for us. So it could possibly impersonating an officer if he's not actually yeah. actually an SO. Yeah. I guess I'll go with that. Okay. Um, is Sarge here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, that's what I said. Like, there's a vest in this thing. I was asking him, I was like, oh, you got all this stuff in there? And he kept saying no, but I didn't go in the vehicle to see the vest or anything like that. So, all right. But yeah, it's a vest that says sheriff right there. It's got a t Here's his he told me he didn't have a Here's his radio. He might be a 34. He might be a legit 34. But uh, I don't see a PA system. Okay. Let me uh how do you think we are working a system manager's yeah. coming to get cameras, so we'll work on that until you can get some footage. Okay. So let's positively ID him. Yeah. Because Tristan's gonna TOT the other guy. Over here? Yeah. So okay. We'll do that first, and then. I, I mean, I got his. I mean, I don't know if you can read it, but you can run him right now and ID him. I just ran him on NCIC. Michael. Yeah. So there's that. Later, they focused on verifying Barreco's claims as a county law enforcer, while his previously indifferent attitude shifted as he voiced concern about how his arrest might impact his family and career. Okay. He's saying an actual SO deputy where he stole a bunch. Of we don't know for sure. Okay. So, Do you want to get an SO sergeant here to figure out who? Because I can ask on the radio, because I think Wait, we should. Let me talk about the bin pack first. Okay. Then, yeah. Okay. Then, can you, actually, can you just grab the bin? See if it oh, it matches? Yeah, that plate doesn't belong to you. No, no. Oh, oh, it might be, yeah, for their UC stuff. With me again, sir? Yeah, I'm sorry, sir. I'm not trying to bug, man. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out what the status is, like, I just really want my wife to know that, like, I'm okay. I'm not somewhere. She doesn't work for me in hours. We're actually almost done, and we can do that, yes? Okay. Just give her an update, and we'll give you an update really soon, okay? I assume since the crime is involved, you guys are taking that for evidence, or? So, right now, so my sergeant's talking to one of the callers or victims. Um, okay. The vehicle got sealed and towed to our crime lab, so everything right now is still inside the vehicle. Did he have the on him? No, when we took when he stepped out of the vehicle, he didn't have it on him okay. when he stepped out. And what about the badge, anything like that? Um, I didn't pat him down. That officer did there. He didn't. I didn't see him pull anything out of his pockets. He didn't look like he had his badge on or anything like that. But I can tell you, in the passenger seat, I saw a vest that said sheriff. Had his on the saw the radio in the cup holder, and then whatever hand hand is on the seat as well. Okay, not in a holster or anything like that. The presence of Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office representatives clarified the investigation. After discussions, Albuquerque police released the deputy to his superiors, but seized his unmarked vehicle as evidence. I just wanted to make sure that his equipment is secure. So I'm going to be over here in your sergeant's street. Can you just come talk to me? I'm Captain Watkins. Yes, sir. I will. The alleged victims, we're just going to get them out of here. Cool. So when you release him, they don't lose their mind. You want me to talk with them first? Or um, then get them? Yeah, we can chat with them. Okay. Hey, how are you, sir? How are you? Good, good. So we're done with our investigation, <laughs> our side of things. Um, tonight, he's not going to jail. He's not being arrested. Um, just based off of what we saw, putting everything together for tonight, he won't be going to jail. We'll release him, the deputy, here in a second. Okay. And then if he needs, maybe go with you guys or good we night. can call somebody, but we just want to get him home If you guys don't safe. need him, I can definitely tra transport him home. Yeah. Um, and take care of it that way. All right, sir. So we just talked with your chain stuff. Investigation-wise, things are going to be on pause. Um, again, we took your truck, sealed it just for evidentiary value. We're going to look over everything at a later time just to make sure we're doing what's right. So everything is justified. There's no questions. For tonight, though, um, you're being released. Um, nothing's going to take place further. We gave your chain the report number and stuff. They are willing to give you a ride home. So we're gonna get you out of these cuffs, sir. Thanks for being compliant. Cool. Do you have everything on you, sir, that you need? Yeah. All right, and then I think one of them will 
Help you out, sir. Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, cool. Deputy Barreco was arrested and taken to the Metropolitan Detention Center on January 24, 2024. The investigation uncovered evidence supporting claims of his off-duty misuse of authority, leading to three charges for conduct unbecoming of a law enforcement officer. One charge against Barreco was dropped due to a victim's failure to appear in court. He pleaded not guilty to the remaining charges. On September 13, 2024, Deputy Barreco of the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office was acquitted, with the jury finding him not guilty on all charges. However, his administrative case remains ongoing. What do you think about the deputy's acquittal? Was justice served fairly for everyone involved? Share your thoughts in the comments. Drop your thoughts in the comments and stay here to keep watching another Body Cam Bus video.